Welcome back to the finish line and this week our horse racing tips are going to come from Gore Park and Cheltenham. Right, so lads, before we get started with the weekend roundup, we have a little competition. So as you might know, we are having our first Cheltenham preview night in Revolution Bar in Water City and we are going to give away two tickets for the preview night. So on the panel we've obviously the three of us and it gets better, don't worry. Wow. Jesus, that's, that's yeah. harsh. Anyway, go on. Who have we got? Sorry. We have Jane Mangan, Emma Kennedy, uh, Matt Keane from WLR is doing the MC, and we've Kevin Sexton, jockey of one of my favourite horses, and who might get a mention in our Cheltenham anti post videos after this. Kevin Sexton. What are you looking at me for? I'm bro? worried now. What, what's his anti post? Oh, no, it's not that wait, bad. You see. Is it not? No, it's not that bad. Okay, that's not that bad. That's good. It's not as bad as mine last week. That literally we we put it out and then the champion hurdle I, decks came out. Nice. <laughs> Not nice. decks, champion hurdle entries came out and it was a non runner. Oh wow. <laughs> I, did, I think it was the only horse that didn't yeah. get re entered. So so the island is going when, when these two stop talking for me, I'll tell you how you can stairs. win it. Can you stop for one oh, second? No, yeah. After 10 minutes, they can win it. I felt sorry for you when oh, I read that yesterday. I did. Yeah. So we get into that in a minute. Go on. So, how you can win them, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, go to the Finish Lines Facebook page. Like and share the, the post. We'll have the, the Cheltenham Preview Night poster on it and tag two friends. I'll have the link. Well, I say I will. Kevin will have the link in the description for this video to the Finishing Lines Facebook page. So, with that said, what were you saying? I want to listen. We're on a city island going back over hurdles, which I've been campaigning for all year. Oh, and he's going yeah. for the stairs hurdle. That was, uh, I was ready it last night, actually. Devastated. I felt sorry for you. Uh, I, was, oh, <laughs> I, got a text, I got a text off. All I see him is city island. And this. Oh, like, what's no. happening now? Um, yeah, that was unlucky, that. But anyway. But we yeah. will start with Defi Desai. He's good, isn't he? I didn't. I didn't see that yeah, coming. Yeah, to be honest, I, Andrew's going to crab this race. I know. Yes, I can just. I can. I could sense this before I even came right. in. I was watching yeah, it. here we go. Thing of Mick Fitzgerald took notes of. I don't know if any of you seen it. It was on after the race. Yeah, the speed of the race. Yes. Mm. And it wasn't. It was heavy ground, but I don't think that was heavy ground at all. It didn't look heavy. No, because under so when he won that. On proper heavy ground the year before last, or was it last year? Whenever he won the, the same race last yeah. time. Uh, compared to the times and lengths to that, to last week, Defi Desai, the older Defi Desai, beat young Defi Desai by 40 lengths. So I think this under is... So. Under so, sorry. Under so. Mm -hmm. um, and if you, run, if you go, it's on at the races Twitter page, and Mick Fitzgerald. If you go, he has the two races side by side, a two mile four um, handicap chase on the same day and they picked it up exactly at the two mile point when they jumped off. Down the back straight, the handicap chase is six lengths, in front, six seconds in front mm. down the back straight and they still beat Defi Desai. They beat Defi Desai by a second. I just think, like, obviously Paul didn't go fast enough to, to give him a chance really to beat Defi. Mm. I think Defi was always going to beat him in a sprint but I'd look more into that and I'd say I'd say maybe, that, like, they look really de dejected afterwards, William Paul, um, over his run. I think they knew going out there, surely to God, he knew he was going to have to go a gallop. Yeah. There's no way he went that slow on purpose. I just don't really know if 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 Undersoul was fully there from. No, I, that was below, below part of Undersoul. Yeah, I think, I think if he could have gone faster, I think he would have gone faster. Like, like, it's easy saying go faster and drive the head off him, but you can't do that in a race. You have to get a horse going at their speed yeah. and in a rhythm. And yeah, I, I just think maybe he wasn't there. I thought definitely was impressive. Um, His turn of foot was unbelievable. Yeah, Taylor's. champion chase is going to be interesting. Yeah. I think he might be taking off his feet. He has champion. to go for yeah, the I champion. Agree with you. Don't I think he's going champion no, he's going champion yeah. chase. I understand your point about the speed of the race and all that, but the best horse in the race won the race. I think he would have won yeah. as well as he won if they went faster. The under so will win a race this year again. He'll oh, he always throws in an owl. He needs, now, to, he needs to he needs to go balls out from the front from the very start, especially if it's over two miles. Well as Tom said there I'd say he was going as fast as he could, but he just yeah, wasn't maybe he wasn't on a yeah, going day. I don't know. But yeah. I don't know. I think people are just trying to find 
for me are trying to find a way to crab Deffy. Yeah, the, the time was slow, but like you can't take away from his turn of foot. And he like his head and chest, Garrity was just doing nothing on him, going over coasting over the line. Um, but well, maybe it goes back to two seasons ago when Hobbs horses weren't running well. And Effie had a terrible season when he was talked up as a champion hurdle horse. So I actually thought he was going to be a champion hurdle horse that year. Mm. Um, and since then, people are just expecting Defy to, to fail again. But he's it's going to not be even that. I, he's going to come up with horses at, and at Chetland are going to be a lot faster than him. They're going to take him out of his comfort zone. They're going to go off 100 miles an hour. Will he need to use that turn of foot earlier than he should have? I don't know. I don't think. I think he's quicker than people think. Yeah, he's way really quicker. He's way quicker than you. I, I just think he does. Give him credit for. He does enough. He's not. He's not a real keen going sort. You know, um, like he doesn't tank around everywhere. I just. I just think he's. He's a lovely horse. If you're watching, oh, oh Jesus Christ! Watch I him, take him all day of the week. If you're watching closely in some of his races, uh, two mile four, two miles. Sometimes he, had, he hits a little bit of a flat spot, mm-hmm. and Garrett will shake him up again. He comes back on the bit, and then the, the turn of foot kicks in towards the end. Then. But they're the ones you want. Those they're the horses that last. Yeah. Ingles Driva, Big Bucks, you know, all those Paisley horses. Paisley Park is going to be. Paisley Park is another one who I think will last. You know, you know, Sprint of Sackers and horses like that, master minded. They're too keen for their own good and they put themselves through too much, I think. Yeah. Um another one another one that was caught up. Like he travelled, like he travelled in a two mile race and he travelled in a three mile race. And I think he just travelled on it. Like he was never, he was never, he was never doing too much yeah. or trying to kill himself. You know, um, they're they're the ones that last. It was always one of them. Yeah, would have been interesting to see him in the champion hurdle if if Hobbs's horses weren't sick that year. Yeah, yeah. it's a shame, yeah. really. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. So on to winning that from Tom. Hello, Tom. Um, next best. Next best. Yeah, 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 Sam Brown. Best. Jeez, he looks like a decent staying prospect, don't he? My, my nap didn't run. <laughs> There's a surprise. Yeah, but we discussed Where this. Where was he from? Yeah. Wolverhampton? Yes. Yeah, oh. Didn't run. It's actually ended over seven furlongs on Friday. John. I think this fella could be. I don't know if he'd go up. to Cheltenham. Do you think he'd go to Cheltenham? I don't know. I, I don't know. I, ha- I, I see Dave's favourite race after Cheltenham. Midlands National. I love that race. He's going to have a high you know enough rating those for Sussex that. Sussex Nationals and all them kind yeah. of things. They're nuts races. He's going to have a high enough rating for that, I'd say. But. Um, no, I do. I, I like that horse. He, he, he did he it well. Like, Outpays coming around the bend. And he just kept fighting the finding. Yeah. Then no, I like poor old Windsor Avenue. Ah, he's he's gone. He's mm. a pig. Yeah, I was wrong. I I reckon he's a winded show. He stopped very quickly again. Yeah, or twice. Very quickly yeah, again. That already bleeds one or the other. Yeah, yeah something not right. Um, Sam Brown completely was the price the night before. I had him oh. about second favourite. I first. got on the fours as well. Four to one. Mm. A couple of lads were tweeting us there on Saturday. And, yeah, I think a few people got on a four time. That was a they got that one wrong anyway. It was never that price. No, nah. it was never the outsider of four in that no. race. No Especially shot. after the last performance. Mm. Um, yeah, yeah, good call. Anyway, uh, right, Bally, Andy, Nabin, Pentland Hills. I I I text you Sunday. I'm done with Haydock. Genuinely, mm. I'm not backing the Haydock anymore. It's a horrible track. <laughs> it's terrible. Like Haydock, heavy ground. You just like it lay just the makes field. No sense. And, Right? Made a field of one point one. Another <laughs> of a horse that like I'd be I'd be mad interested in a three mile chase or the worst day or grey horse from the front and I didn't back it in the big handicap. That's your horse yeah. all over. I'm vintage clouds. I don't know why I didn't back it. I texted him and said how much did you have? Both on? tipped up definitely red. Yeah. And I knew from the first circle he was going to win the way he was going around. Uh, Edward Stone won the race and then somehow lost the race and Pentland Hills won the race and then somehow lost the race it don't make any sense <laughs> Sam Christian Bay was magic they literally went like this it's not magic though it's, they, they just they, stopped they in front past the horse and then just went <laughs> dead <laughs> we shot the second last half falling out just went and right. gone and it happened to Edward Stone and I was like right he's probably too keen for his own good now we'll, it's alright I'll we'll give him another chance and I seen Pentland Hills going ahead of the horse and I was like this is actually, it's like an actual replay. It's going yeah. to happen again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm done with Haydock. I'm not, and I'm not on the, it was a great ride thing. Like, it was a great ride, he kept going. But, you know, it, it it's one, one of those. It you're was just, more than throwing, throwing the race away. Yeah. Just, him getting both up. horses yeah. showed the race You're away. just keeping going. It's not like they're timing it to get yeah. there that late. Like, you're just keeping going. So, um, yeah, look, Haydock, heavy ground, stay away. And it just puts into my respect, I cannot have Pentland Hills for a champion hurdle whatsoever. Watch well, he's travelled like a really good horse two ah, races in a care. row and then stopped dead no, four stop times. Dead, yeah, that worry. And like I'd say, he does definitely want better ground. The fact that he's stopping like that 
Mm. I couldn't. I couldn't back him anyway. But I would love got people say analysts on ITV saying, "Oh, Bally Andy's an outsider for the champion hurdle." You absolutely do one. Like, I, if, I he's, t- if he's pays the champion hurdle, I fucking give up. I put money on you before I put money on Bally Andy yeah, the champion hurdle. Genuine. Thanks very much. <laughs> that's very much. Right. Uh, right. We we touched on Edelstone there, haven't we? Yeah. Right. Uh, we've had uh, Manena Indo. Right, Manena Indo. What you make of him on Sunday? Yeah, you say first because I know you're going to be just loving it. Like, he's oh, he's such an horse, yeah. horse, isn't he? See, uh, he's so it's it's mirror image of last year. He's just coming along nicely. He'll turn up at Cheltenham and he'll just go. Right, let's see you later. Good luck. I win. He's yeah. going to go out front. He's going to jump and stupid. Champ is going to come up sides him and fall. And Manena Indo is just going to gallop the whole way up the hill. He's a typical big. I'm not against him. I'm just I'm not as keen as as you are. If he beats Champ, I'd be absolutely shocked. Why? I just would. I just I don't think he'd have to turn the foot that Champ has. I think it might be one and two, and it'll be upside sort of. But if Champ isn't thick and jumps through fences, that he'd lead. Would you Would you rather back Champ at three to one and hope he stays on his feet, or back Nell Indo at eight, knowing that he's more or less going to get around and be out in the front and out of trouble? And I back Champ at three to one. If he stays on his feet, he's a certainty to me. Do you give me a third option? What's your third option? Just have the money on a Plutard for the Rhino. We'll we, we, we talk about that after next week. <laughs> we'll talk about that after next week. That's what I'd rather do. Magical Light. She Magical was good Light. as well. She wasn't was very she? good. Lovely she, mare. She's looking like she's going to have a nice little crack at Grand National again. Yeah, she won't win it. She's a good mare though. Yeah, she's the kind of mare you'd love to have. She'd win a couple of races every year and she'd run her hard out. She seems a bit better now than she was last year. She wouldn't have it with a head in her chest. I can't believe the price she was the other day. She was taking yeah. favours. Yeah, Stupid it was price. strange. Five to two. I yeah. got her. Especially with mares. Like it, uh, for me, I tend to stick with the mares that, that win often. Mm. Not like up and comers. And then mares especially, they kind of just throw a bad run in here and there. Like So she was a great, really good price the other day. Yeah, I thought so too. Right. Let's get cracking on, I say weekend's racing, but Gorham Park tomorrow. Toyesi Chase Day. We weren't going to talk about the Gamma Hurdle until we seen the entries. And my God, this is this is work going up the go in itself. So you have Apple Shade, Benny De Jew, Debt Duty, Colotta Vic, Penhill, Garns of Babylon, and Mary Francis. We're going up there. Me, Seth, and Dave are going up there tomorrow. And my favorite horse, I just love her. Benny the Fall, Jew. Sorry, oh, Jew. I, I don't even care Benny about the Fall anymore. Run. It's over. This is going to be some race, lads. It's going to be unreal for a midweek race. And I said to you, I, I hadn't seen this before I came in here. I can't believe they're running there. I thought they'd go straight to Cheltenham. The, the vibe everyone was getting they were going yeah. straight to Cheltenham I'm amazed she's turning up here um, Apples yeah, sure, why not runner um, Deaf Duty is fascinating coming back he's been off for a long long time but he looked like the next coming of, yeah. of Sam Crow didn't he um, <laughs> look what happened a few of them all right? yeah one but, more train. oh Gordon yeah. yeah he's a good horse Deaf Duty I, I, I wouldn't knock him at all but um, interesting Davy Russell is on Apples Jade yeah and I don't presumably know. Jack Kennedy is going to be on Deaf Duty. And you, if that happens, that's you take note straight away already. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised by that now. If, but it's hard to get away from Benny Dejou. There's no reason to take note of that. You just said the winner. And you know what? We might even get a prize tomorrow on this. We might get 6-4 to four tomorrow. I don't imagine. She is streets above anything else. Every single run since Willie got barred the fall, she's won. Don't matter who she's against. I don't know if she's streets above death duty. I, I really she's like it. And a, a top class apples jade, I, I'm not sure either. But a winter's apple jade will be hard to beat. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. It's, it's going to be, be a really interesting. Race. Penny is the queen. I wouldn't need a bet on this now. I'd be happy to. I, 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 you always sh- sit in the fence in these races. I do. I yeah. Don't like that. I just enjoy them. I don't like betting in them because I I lose the enjoyment of. Don't like Ben, but he's sitting there on the exchange, he's ready to press button. <laughs> <laughs> Penn Hill is the one. He's been disappointing this year, but like he's. I tell you, he's if we go up there back. tomorrow and you'll back up something other than Benny, I'm not, I'm not hanging out with you. Like. <laughs> You're not hanging out with me. This is my favorite. So back in something else. To be around. You know, tomorrow. you know, she's going to win tomorrow. Benny, if she runs, she's not taking out tomorrow morning or something. She's going to win. Like. Three miles, yeah. <laughs> 
I wonder if they put a tilt to the. They may, maybe they won't even put her in the mayors. They'll put her in the, the stairs. Why maybe that's why she's won't? running before Cheltenham. Why would they do that? I don't know. Who knows what restrictions are? They've done that any power before, and look what happened. She's not. What, she won the champion hard? Yeah, but in the, in the, as in three miles. What happened to the horse that bit her? He fell apart. Oh, more of that. Yeah, he was good, but. Oh. Yeah. yeah. He lost know. the head. He's like Manuel Rocco running in a plumbing Hunter's Chase. Hunter's Chase, Chase day. Day. Second Warren. in the Gold Cup, and he Warren. ran a Hunter's Chase. Yeah. Steering job. Benny. Yeah, look, I, I'd, I'd, I'd row in with Benny as well, but. I reckon fascinating race. I I will row in with Benny as well, but I I think Abbott Shade will be favourite. I, I hope so. I hope she's favourite. Oh, could you imagine like, get two to one tomorrow? Yeah. I wouldn't price her up as way. I'd, put I'd price her up as favourite because she's three runs under her belt already and of what she done the last time. And I say they're trying to get runs into her before she goes, right, the sun is out, lads. Yeah. If I was a bookmaker now, lovely. There's seven runners, perfect. I'd price up Benny at about evens. Apple's Jade, 5 to 4, Def Jimmy, 9 to 4. Even at even, you she's can't, can't, you couldn't get Dead Yoshi 9 to 4. You can't lose money then. <laughs> Dead Yoshi are guaranteed to get about 9 to 2, 5 to 1. Imagine if we get 6 to 4 or bigger tomorrow. Oh, here. Yeah. I don't know. I wouldn't fancy pricing this up, to be honest. I just can't wait to go to war. Yeah. Right, on to the next big race there. The Toyestis Chase. I'm so happy this horse has declared. The first thing I said to you coming in was uh, the declaration's out and is he running? Um, he's running Tom you're not you're not on this at all no I don't am like not him. no, no. Um, so my tip for this is always good total recall uh, won the Hennessy in 2017 he won that off a mark of 147 and he comes back here now off 149 after going up in the handicap um, he was running a good race in the Gold Cup that, that season as well uh, before he fell um, I'd, I'd I, I like him as a horse. He, mm-hmm. he bolted up in some handicaps. He just kind of... So if you look at his form, he he came back in January then after... I think he ran the Irish National afterwards and pulled up. But he came back in the January and was second around Tremor behind Albion Photo, which is a good run. He then made a bad mistake at the last in Ferdus and finished third. Something must have happened then because those runs are in January and he was off for 92 days. They then took him to the Irish National again where he pulled up and two runs at O'Toy where he was disappointed. Mm-hmm. He obviously had an injury that year or there's no reason they wouldn't have run him. So um, he ran a nice race then on his comeback this season uh, around Clomel in December. He just got a bit tired that day and that was in a hurdle race. So like Willies have all come on for the run. I think the fact that they ran him in a hurdle race showed that he'd come on for the run. Um, he missed Christmas. That's my only slight concern with him. Um, I, I'm not it's sure. Going to be a slog up there. I'm not sure if this is why he missed Christmas. I would doubt it, but this, oh. you know, I I don't know. The fact that he missed Christmas is a bit of a concern. Of 149, I think he's fairly handicapped. Willie's have definitely needed to run this year, yeah. and he's hitting form now. Um, this was 25 to one before declarations. He's 14 to one. I'll give him a chance. There's two I really like, and I backed this one last week at. Nearly double the price. Chef de Zobo. Sam was third round for Willie, finished fifth. Um, last time out at uh, Leperstown at the Christmas Festival, won the big hand to Paddy Power, I think it was. Uh, before that, he was fourth, beaten a good bit by uh, Fakir Dudari over two and a half mile. Uh, he's rated 150. Willie's horses that, have, that are at the top of the weights usually run really, really good in this or win it. You had Jack Adam, he was top weight, he was a freak back then. Seen him jumping the last so we've seen that day. Yeah. Um mm. very fine. On his own won it twice. And last year invitation only he won it off one five two. Now Chef Desobo is carrying one fifty. To me this has been the plan all along. He was one four eight when he finished fifth in the Paddy Power, which was a nice ray, nice run he Jumped two out, I think it was looking like he was going to be the winner. Made a bit of a mistake at the second last, and Rowan yeah. Bull won that in the end. But I know he's given Rowan Bull weight, but Jesus Christ, you can't take Rowan Bull any day of the week because it's for him. He's up and down like a yo-yo. He's in and out more than Washington. Rowan Bull's a handicapper. I think I think in this race, if you look back... Class horse wins it. A class horse wins it. Is Chef Dezo- if Chef Zobo wins this off 150, you're saying he's basically a 160 horse. I don't know if he is, to be honest. 
Like he's, come, that he's it's, come it's, from Henderson's to Willie's. Like I, I don't know. I, I think Willie's improved. Yeah, it's not the greatest know. renewal of the since you'll ever see in your life. It's not. There's been a lot of money for Willie's auto and Acapella Bourgeois. He was second to Album Four at the Sham World last time. Two of them pulled a good bit clear. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if you can take his trust because before I was zero, duck it, duck it, third and fourth, first. Uh, this one, the other one that really interests me is um, ex, Expatriate. Won't get home. Yeah, I was. Two and a half miler. Two and a half miler, stepping off a three miles for the first time. They should have gone to Cheltenham at the weekend, but they're, but they're Kilkenny people, so that's why they're running this. Yeah. He'd have a chance if he stays off 11 1. Um, Derek O'Connor is on board. He was on board last time. Um, I, you can narrow this down to three or four. Like, I can't have smoke and gun. Six to one joint favour. Where's that come out of, like? One well last day, but they, you know, I think this is a bit of a step up. This is why I like my horse. I think he's a class angle. Like not many of these would run anywhere near a well in a gold cup. He's, he's a, won a big handicap before mm. off a off a big mark. But is he, he fourteen to one? Is he as good as he used to be? That's the thing. Well, is he it? hasn't had many runs since since then. So see, there's, there's not there's not much like there's not much strength in there. and depth. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> Right, we'll touch on it again. Will we? Oh, well, yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Right, so I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm nailed on. Chef is over. Go on, Dave. Who are you? Look, I, I love arguing with you. I'd say everybody knows that. I love arguing with everybody. But your record picking the winner of this race is flawless. I think you've got it six years in a row. I have. And I will back whatever you back on Thursday. Jesus. Genuinely. Okay. I never give you credit. I think that's the nicest thing you've ever said. I, to I me. rarely give you credit. I, you picked out the three horses that I that I'd say would have a chance, and whatever you put I, the most bet on, I think is going to win. I've had a tricast last three years in a row as well. Uh, Acapella Bourgeois, ex Patriot probably won't stay. He's very talented, but won't stay. And then you would think that Willie's Chef de Zobo is laid out for the race. So whatever you go for, I'll go for. It's like this. To, on, honestly, to the viewers, his his record is flawless in this. He managed to pick that. Donkey from Gordon Elliott's one year, wasn't it? Start with him. It was Alfred De Zobo that came second last year. Did he come second? Yeah. Yeah. Alfred Invitation second, only, Adam. Jack Adam. Oh, what was the one? My t- Murphy. My, and there was another one about 33 to 1 as well. Um, Jadanley. I don't know, this was a, a, a Jigginstown horse starting. Oh, oh, Davey was on it. Yeah. Um, and then the year after, Jack Henry was on another Jigginstown. Yeah. Ah, flawless. Well done. Thanks. Keep it up now, Thursday. Yeah, Tomorrow. F- you just have to put the mockers on me you now. Yeah. So something stupid, live love laugh or something, win it. Imagine the wins now. <laughs> <laughs> have to back in there, don't they? Right. Right, let's head to Cheltenham on Saturday. We start with a Cotswold chase. What oh, the high see looked at this and I don't like it. It's another fence sitting race for me. I'm just gonna say that I before I say it. Lads, I think Slade House is gonna win this. I said if he turns if he turns up, that's what I'm Genuinely. Back. If he runs, he, that's what I'm back. And he's gone from tens into sixes, so... Mm. Right, I don't think Delta Works is clear. Delta Works not going to run here, surely, is he? Surely, surely not. He's not. He's right, he's going to run the Irish Gold Cup, right? Run the Irish Gold Cup. If it cannot have Santini. No. Uh, right, the RSA form looks a little bit better now with Delta Work uh, winning over Christmas. But his run against um, that Neil McGinty yeah, or whatever, yeah. terrible. He didn't run terribly in the Welsh National. Right, so it can't mm. have Santini. Toffel Ben... Is going to win the odd race and then He's throw in like four this. stinkers here He's and there. No near this um, task. I think the Rasher counter is talented, but his race is probably the Hennessy. He's a handicapper. A Slade House like, coming off of winning that Grade One, and he won that so easy over Christmas yeah. around Kempton. Uh, I think getting his jumping together after the Paddy Power putting him in that easy enough race gave him confidence. He seems to be back to what he was looked like when he was a novice hurdler and a bumper horse. He yep. looked really special. Um, Black Op is a decent horse that he bet. The uh, form ties in with Champ. And I can't have Bristol I think the around Cheltenham. I think he's a great bet. Especially in this race. He was 100% going to win the, the Paddy Power as well until he fell at the last fence. Yep. And that's two mile four and he looks like a three miler. So I think this is great. I and, totally agree with Slayhouse. Slayhouse turns up, he's, I'm all over him. He's over I, I didn't mention, mention Bristol Des Moy, but he ran all right in the Gold Cup last year. But he doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't act around Chelsea. Doesn't act around Chelsea. I don't know. It's for the Gold Cup last year. I wouldn't. I wouldn't knock it too much. 
I, I, I was disappointed with him in the in the Betfair trade stuff. I think we all know. I I fancied him that yeah, day. Yeah, it is. You are. Uh, lost in translation. Lost in translation. Beaten very well. Santini. Yeah, look, he was he was only beaten half a length in the RSA. Form against now McGinty is obviously muck. Um, <laughs> No. there you go I was getting but serious that is it is mock obviously but I mean I don't know I'd give him another chance I wouldn't be down on him too much however I've just seen I mean they're only from what one bookmaker those prices oh, no. um, more. best odds there we go yeah 7 to 4 um, oh you can get 9 so they house is still 9 to 1 somewhere um, so, Santini look I'd give him another chance I wouldn't I wouldn't give him another chance at 7 to 4 no chance in hell would I I think that's the problem. This to the I wouldn't be too down on him, but again, you'd kind of shrug your shoulders if he if he was to win this. Uh, Topville Ben, <gasps> Dan Skelton giving out about handicap marks. Then Phil Kirby must be giving out stink about this lad. Um, won the Roland Merrick off 154. He's up 10 pounds to 160. How is he? He is not 164 How horse. Is that horse a 164 rated horse? Can we work I mean, for BHA because this is ridiculous. Look, handicap marks are what they are. He's got judged on what he did, but I mean, he's going to find life very, very hard. Oh, he won't win a race in four. Because he's a that's a that's a grade one, if grade two at best, but grade one kind of mark. He, he's not a grade one horse in my book. Nope. Um, <coughs> if Delta work, can only presume he's not going to run because he's six to one with Paddy Bauer. Can't run him here. Yeah, if, you, if you're working Gordon Elliott's yard and you know any of the plans. Then, if you're leaving six to one about him for this with Paddy Power, you're you're a madman. You want to be you want to be getting on pretty quickly, but um, you just got to presume he's not going to run. Mm-hmm. Slate House is probably yeah, it's probably the selection. He's the one that looks the wrong price. I think nine to one is way too big. Yeah, and that's take a chance. That's now. what I thought as well. Looked mm. it up. He looks the wrong price. Should be half that. Yeah, the Rash Accounter has got his chance, but like he's a Hennessy winner. He's got to go and improve. I think Slate House has it in him that yeah, I could see him improve. I totally agree. And as you said, with your handicap marks, say house is only rated 156. If you go on ratings, you wouldn't go near. This is why I don't like ratings at all. They don't reflect the actual talent of the horse. You, like you, you'd expect Slay House will carry the top of the bend around yeah. and beat. Yeah. You would, especially if you got eight pounds off him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's ridiculous. So, Slay House. Slay all House all around. Slay House. Uh, right, so we go on to... Cleve Hardle dude of a horse he's becoming my favourite horse in training I, like I think I really 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 like him and I just love the way he races I think he's going to hang around forever the way he races um, I actually think he's a bit of a price I literally threw the words at me about four to six on for a horse that's going to win yeah he's going to win I, I, I can't have that if the, if the cap fits cannot have it no. at all so I can't have him any day of the week <laughs> yeah <laughs> Like, I don't. I don't mind him as much as the E, but if he if he beats Paisley Park, yeah. no, he's not going to get near. Paisley I think I'll Park. give up. I think Paisley Park never looked in trouble. Really, realistically, knowing the way he races, he never looked in trouble the last day in Uber against yeah. Fizzle Crack. I think that's good form against Fizzle Crack. He ran well that day. Um, if the cap fits, no. he only beat Roxana by a neck. He only like call me Lord a, a length or whatever it was. Yeah. Like that's shite. I don't know, I can't, I can't have him. No, I just uh, you, think uh, you could take Apple Strade out. Apple Strade isn't going to run. Somerville Boy should be running the champion herd, not this <laughs> bloody thing. Um, <laughs> it won the Supreme. Oh. Like, that was an angle into that race, and I'm disgusted. But anyway, and then you've got William Henry, to be fair, Lamy Surge. Oh, Careful. Oh. Careful. You don't want to say anything about him, David Kidder. <laughs> don't, Dave, don't. Lads, if he runs, he'll come second. Stop now, yeah. He will. He will. He can't go left-handed. Oh, I guarantee you. Right. Paisley he Park. can't go anywhere. He Paisley, can't go anywhere. Paisley, <laughs> Paisley Park. Right. For people that don't know Paisley Park, if they took the odds on thinking this is a certainty, Lammy Sarge will be beside him on the bridle and Paisley Park will be getting kicked in the belly and slapped in the head and pushed and shoved. And if you backed him and you didn't know, he'd be like, oh my God, I'm not to do me money here. And Lammy Sarge will... Not go past him. And Paisley Park will win. Probably, probably by about 10 lengths. But Lammy Sarge will be second. I mean, it's, it's a back to lay, isn't it? On Betfair. You're backing him at his SP or whatever he is and lay him and run and you're probably going to make your money. Yeah. Especially at 14. So he'll trade lower than that. He'll trade under 10 to 1 and run it. Uh, well, Paisley, people- Paisley Park doesn't actually drift that much in running. 
Um, everyone knows what he is. Everyone knows. Everyone's cocked on to what he does now. So he's, he, he doesn't... I thought the last day I tried to get matched at a bigger price and I didn't. Um, thought I would, but I didn't. So um, he would probably trade a little bit bigger, but not a lot bigger. Not as much as you'd expect, anyway. Yeah, I think he's an absolute steering job. I think three of us on his back and he still win. Yeah. Ah, he's deadly. Yeah. He is a dude of a horse like Tom said. He, he just does his own, he does his own thing. He's just an absolute man. Yeah. Isn't he? If you fancy like the 49ers or something to win the Super Bowl on Sunday week or I don't know, I fancy a soccer team at the weekend, stick Paisley Park in 4-6. to six. He, the Jew Paisley Park. He's one of them ones that knows how good he is and he'll do what he needs mm. to do to win on the day. Like. He just he just can't on next yeah. and go, ah, see you later. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Paisley Park. Paisley, yeah, Paisley Park all around. Right, let's head to a handicap chase. 150, the Paddy Power 45 sleeps, the Chetland Trophy handicap chase. I'm breathing. If any of you tip this up, I'm going to walk out because the abuse you gave me last time for saying that he had a chance at a massive price, Lola. Do you want me to get the door for you? <laughs> <laughs> You're not. Yeah. The I, abuse I got over Welcome tipping this to my horse fucking world. Oh, he's gone. He's gone at the game. No. <laughs> <laughs> See? He's I gone at the game. Encourage your convictions. If you had to put bet, bet and slip down in front of me. I think says the man has had a putting had, up a shitload of things at 30, who the pay, Packers or whoever for the Super Bowl. Oh, 33 nice. he did back him. No, not the Packers. The 49ers. 49ers. In, in October, I put him up at 33 to 1. Yeah. Did you pack him? No, I didn't. Oh. And I put up the Chiefs as the overall winner. Like. No. Yeah. 8 to 1. Um, that's going to be a good game. It would have been lovely for me to be on yeah. the same time. <laughs> it would have been. But yeah. No. It's going to be a really good game. Looking forward to that. Anyway. Anyway, back to the... Shall I get the, the door for you? Oh, I'm actually, I'm not tipping him up. So go on. He's sulky, he's sulky. Yeah, he's sulky. He's, sulky. Ah, he's gone at the game. That's that's what I got last time. Sure, how many times do I get that off Yeah, but they normally are. They're not, though. <laughs> Look, they always pop up and win. I don't know how good the trainer is, but if he runs like he did the last day, he'll 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 win. You're not both putting him up. If he runs like he did the last oh, day, Jesus he'll win. Jesus Christ. That's... Come on. He will. What? He will. Like, he, this, we, we... If he comes back to his form of that and... Of his first run to Chetland last year, he'll win this. We both put him up for the Arca last year in the yeah. pre- Chetland preview video. But he has to be ridden up near the pace. If they drop him in, he won't win. He'll, he'll, he'll spit the dummy out again. He needs to be ridden like he was the last day. He needs to just thrown out and yeah. go fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, I'd give, he's obviously got a chance. Um, I just, I, like, we missed the price after the last day. He's 7 to 1, Tom. Yeah, I don't know. I'd love to see him win. Far what what's gone on there with the trainer for a couple of years back, trainer passing away and all that. It'll be, you changed your tune very quickly. Uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> Kaylee is training him now, so I don't know. I think the last time she's had a winner was last year, like so. Yeah. You know oh, I mean? oh, geez, that sounds familiar. It showed up. It was this. <laughs> it was tomorrow last year. He last had a winner. I looked at it yesterday. Do you know how many runners he's had? Who? Pat Kelly. 88 runners. What? No winner. Yeah. Take, yeah, well, going for the look, Irish. I'm never going to see Pat Kelly, so I'm going to say it. For the love of God, take him out and save it. <laughs> Jesus Christ, put him somewhere that can actually train horses. Give 88 up, give up, give winners. Up. He's just having a little bad run. Do you know what percentage that is? fine. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> <laughs> it's That's, not even point one or two. Or I'm, I'm liking that they're being Is Pat Kelly even a person? <laughs> <laughs> is he even a person? <laughs> Did you already say that? He's just having a bad run. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just trying to be positive, you know? I mean, I'm just trying to be positive. I like a pair of they're going for They're going for the Irish Gold Cup, and that's positive. Yeah, like last year, where they're going for this race and the other race and the other race, and then he just turned up a channel. That's probably what happened again. Hmm. We'll see. I say Red Mills Hurdle, to be honest. <sighs> Red Mills I wasn't, Hurdle? I wasn't on... Um, I see a settling hurdle around Lingfield. Give up, lad. Honestly, I'm telling you, you're going to be saying that about me again. When he went to the Irish Gold Cup, I guarantee you that you'll tip him to be second behind Abu Photo. Who are, you on for, who are you on for the goal? He won't be in the first show. Oh, I'll I'll, last year, before decorations even come in, though, I'll, I'll, yeah, he's, well, he won't be in the first three. You can have three places for a point of the Irish goal. Yeah, yeah, go on, I'll take. That. Hey, um, who who are you on now? Dave's on album photo. I'm sticking with Percy at the minute. Who are you on? Last in translation and album four. Come on, the boom. Yeah, okay. 
Yeah, but later for me anyway. <laughs> yeah, back to this. <laughs> back to this. I can't right. ask Beard of the game because he's an absolute spoof merchant. He is. I felt sorry for the last day. I thought he was going to win. 40 to 1. He's like, ah, oh, I'm out with him now. I'm out with him. Nah, yeah, he's do one. 40 to 1 and put he's yourself up. Uh, he's, he's a monkey of a thing. <sighs> sorry. Go on, who are you on? Later. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Right, I'm on. I'm taking a chance on one now. Yeah, I put him up last day as well. Count Meribel. Um, he had a tough enough race in the Bet Victor Gold Cup. I don't know why. Sorry, our boss just walked yeah. over there. Yeah, I, don't the know, I, don't, are out I don't know what he's doing. It's not my <laughs> boss. <laughs> Look at you. Second then. Um, finished sixth last time out in the Bet Victor Gold Cup. Had a hard race that day. Um, Look, some of his back form is strong. Graded form. Sorry, who are we on about? I got totally lost there. Count Meribel. Count Meribel. Um, Nige is in good form. His record went fresh. That's the way you call him Nige. <laughs> Nige. Good old Nige. His record went fresh is pretty good. Um, this isn't the greatest race in the world, I don't think. Uh, he's had 70 days off. I could see his Cheltenham record is good. I can see him being placed. Yeah, get get five places with a bookie out there. I think I think he'll fill one of those. Ah, I'm not crabbing him. He's outrageous. He's not bad. Yeah, he's not bad, horse. Hmm. Yeah, I'm later. 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 Okay, Count Maribel. Right. Ballymore novice. Hurdle tried. Trappy race, this. Interesting one. I don't know if we're going to see the winner of a race at Chatham, but it's a trappy little race. Two I like it. Harry Senior. And, and King Rowland. Yeah. Mm, King. I, would, uh, I would not go with the form of uh, Champagne Mail and protect her at from the last day. I'd, uh, mm. I'd go for the other two horses. Um, I, I'd yeah. probably have to go with Harry Senior, I'd say, because... Of Edward Stone. You're right? holding on to this last oh, yeah. tread of Edward Stone. Yeah. If he wins, on, on, for if he wins life. on Saturday, I'm happier again. But King Roland looked very good the last day he won. Yeah, he beat nothing the last day, but he absolutely bolted off. It's just the way he won. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He like. was second to son of Camus, who was then third in the grade one Tolworth. So he's got a bit of form there. Sporting John, mm, he beat Harry Senior, but he didn't beat anything the last day. I'd tell you that much. Um, the third and fourth, the, the third is won, but the second and the fourth have let the form down in that race. So that's not maybe as good as it looks. I'd like to take him on at seven to four. Protect her out, yeah, Grant, he lost the race and then he got the race back the last day. Um, he's interesting enough. Champagne well broke my heart at Cheltenham the last day. I thought he was an absolute certainty. Uh, Jumping the last, I just thought he'd win. I cried a bit. Uh, <laughs> I think he wants a middle a middle distance trip. Uh, that was over three miles last day. This is more his trip here. Um, he's probably open to if if any of these are going to prove top class, he's open to one that's top class because I think he's just a little bit below it. But yeah. he's still interested me. I, if eight to one, if I knew there were more than eight runners, I'd I'd like him each way and King Roland each way. Mm-hmm. We'd, we'd take those two out the field. Yeah. I am on. Guess. Champagne man. No. Protector. No. King Roland. No. Sporting John. No. Harry Senior. The boss is Oscar. Gordon Elliott. He won his maiden hurdle, which is nearly always a very decent maiden hurdle at Leperstown Christmas meeting. Before that, he was... It's just random. Second to... <laughs> what are you clicking? Time for... You said him before. Anyway. Um, he was second to Blue Sari. Uh, I have a road down. I punched him before that. The race he won, he came with a flying run, done them all, coming around the outside. Davey gave him a great ride. I think he is overpriced a 10 to 1 in a race that there's going to be, you don't know exactly who's, how, going, to who's going to run and who's that good. He's only a five year old. He's rated 136. He's 10, 10 pounds on rating to find a sport and jump. As Tom said, I yeah, with him. Yeah, I'd take him up. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so a 10 to 1, I'd happily roll in with the boss's Oscar. One just not to forget about down there is time flies by. Uh, we put him up as interest in the last day in that grade to Ascot behind Master. Finished 12 lengths behind Master Debonair that day. Um, that was his first start over hurdles, thrown into a grade two. He's back in another grade two on his second run over hurdles. Made plenty of mistakes the last day. Um, but that, like, in, in fairness, a horse making their first the first hurdle start in the grade two, yeah. they're going to do that. Uh, he could improve here, and he's not one to write off at ten to one. No, yeah. I literally take on nearly the top three of this race. Fair enough. Right, so let's head off to Doncaster. 
Right, so Great Two Mayor's Hurdle at Doncaster. I really, really like one in this. It's Nicky Henderson's horse, isn't it? It is, yeah. Wow. Um, wow. Genuinely. I cannot believe you're backing against Lady Buttons. Yeah, I wouldn't back against Lady Buttons either. Well, how can you back against them? Like? Ready? Legend. Silver Forever B. Floressa. Um, where was it? At Newbury. Uh, but then she turned around that farm big time with her, where she beat uh, Jeremy's Flame, who was then was second to Phil on the Roof in the. Um, what was it? At Sandown. Tallworth. The Tallworth Hurdle of Sandown. And the two, a race or two before that, Silver Flame won the listed Mayor's Hurdle on the same card as she liked. They've been talking up this for the rest of her for a long time. She travels, she jumps, she has a turn of foot. I think she's going to be very hard to beat. I know taking on Lady Buttons, you're all going to say blah, 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 blah. I think Lady Buttons is much better over fences. Than my case. I don't know if she's much better over fences. I quite like her. I think, obviously, Nikki's one has got a chance, but I'd probably do, I'd go with Lady Buttons. Again, like I said about Benny, there's like four or five mayors every year you can count on. Lady Buttons is one of them. You need to find yourself a Lady Buttons in your life. I have one. She's running Saturday at Doncaster. I thought you were going to say she's going to the preview now. <laughs> I was like, hold up now. What's going on here? What don't I know? Yeah. I'm really sweet for us. Yeah. yeah. And he's really sweet in something else that he won't tell us about. I wondered how we pulled that one out of the bag. <laughs> What's that? Him waddling in with someone on the Sam preview night. Like, Who's this one there? <laughs> Her name is Benny. <laughs> Benny. <laughs> She comes from Bangkok. She be, <laughs> be wearing, wearing, wearing pink with, uh, with, with green circles. Pink and green dress, yeah. Oh. yeah. Good times. We know who Dave's missus is that night. <laughs> <laughs> Waving at me every Hi, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very good. Oh, Jesus Christ. Right, Daps. Oh, struggling, struggling out of this lot. Can I just say, I, there's a horse I'm really looking forward to seeing over the weekend, a layout. Uh, oh, of Willie Monagas. this is going to be done, done. No, no, no. I the, really like this for, the, for um, the GLT. Yeah, he's entered twice this weekend, once at Beginner's Chase, once in a Grade 2. That Grade 2, I think it is a Grade 2, yeah, is very interesting because that's over three miles. Mm -hmm. So Willie's got a layout carefully selected and Faheen in there. So that's one of the qualifiers for the National Hunt Chase. So interesting to see what runs in that. But yeah, Aleo, I think, will come on massively for the run yeah. and was very eye-catching at Cheltenham last year and just, just a horse of real interest, I think. Um, Nap. The two, the two I'd back this weekend is, to, or this week, is Total Recall and Count Meribah. I'll back both of those each way in those handicaps. You'll get extra places off bookies and I think both of them will run decent races at big prices. So. Fair enough. Probably just lean towards Count Maribel as the as the as the nap to be. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna. I'm gonna How long bottle. is he gonna take? Her? I won't bottle it. I won't I bottle it. Next week's video it's already. Really you just chat. Totally told Kevin wouldn't take that long. Like. <laughs> total recall. You take all the airtime, Tom. I'm going, just, for I'm going for total recall. I'll go for coffee, Andrew. Yeah, you go. <laughs> yeah. Lunch. Lunch sounds good actually. Yeah, go on. Um, Total Recall's my nap, Count Meryl's next best. Right, I get mine quickly. My nap is Floressa and my next best is Chef de Zorro under Tiestis. My nap is Slade House and my next best is Benny. Only because I don't know the prices on Benny. She would probably be my nap if I knew her prices. But Slade House is going to win. She going, what's your snapper? I don't want to nap something that's 8 to 15 on. She's not going to be odds on. Slade House nap, I Benny guarantee next best. you they're going to take Benny to do one in the first one. Good. I don't know. I wouldn't. Good. I wouldn't. I Take I my would. money. <laughs> Give it back to me when it's <laughs> with, with a bit of profit. Right. Right, so that's it for this week, lads. So next week, we are going to have a full preview of the Dublin Racing Festival at Leper Sound. So if you have any questions coming up to that, any horses that are going to run in it, at the start of next week's video, we'll go through them all, myself, Tom and Dave. And yeah, so if any questions, leave them down in the comment below or tag us on Twitter or on Facebook pages and we'll... We'll get them all printed out and we will put them up. Can I just say as well, um, just after our shout out about maybe leasing shares and a horse, oh, yeah. uh, Jay got on to me on Twitter. Um, thanks very much. We had a good chat with him yesterday. Um, gave me a good bit of information. But like, if anyone, if anyone's interested in doing that, it's definitely something we could work <laughs> that out. That was a no. <laughs> 
No, no, he did. No, they was, Jay has a horse in England, um, and and they have their own syndicate. So he gave me a lot of information on how they run the syndicate and right. all we'll, that kind of stuff. We'd be looking so, for a horse somewhere in Ireland, surely. Yeah, yeah. we'd be looking so for a horse somewhere in Ireland. Yeah, exactly. Um, so if we could do that, but if anyone's interested in getting involved, like leave leave comments down below. There'd be cheap enough shares, I think, if we could if we could take a percentage of a horse and then yeah, we certainly look into syndicate what, those shares out. Yeah, be interesting to do so. Yeah, Give us a shout if you're interested. Right, so we wrap it up. So, um, again, what I said, comment below, questions for next week. Uh, we'll be back next week with Dublin Racing Festival. With a Dublin Racing Festival preview.